Rwanda, Singapore and financial services deal. Rwanda and Singapore last week formally entered into a partnership dubbed Financial Trust Corridor Initiative, which seeks to facilitate transactions and create great trust between financial institutions and businesses in Rwanda and Singapore. Miss Rwanda launches projects to empower community health workers. Miss Rwanda 2021 Grace Ngabide has embarked on a project to empower community health workers as a way of recognizing their selfless efforts to ensure a healthy community across the country. Saturday, Iwachu Muzika postponed, replaced with the Poli tribute show. Yes, so we're going to be sharing uh, stories with you that have been trending throughout the weekend and of course uh, that have been highlights uh, for different um, places, different departments yeah. and all that. So Rwanda and Singapore enter financial services deal and uh, what it means is Rwanda and Singapore last week formally entered into a partnership dubbed Financial Trust Corridor Initiative which seeks to facilitate transactions and create greater trust between financial institutions and businesses in Rwanda and Singapore. The Financial Trust Corridor Initiative is expected to, among other things, engender uh, greater trust, trend, closer relationships and recognitions between the businesses and financial institutions in Rwanda and Singapore. The initiative is also aimed at greater financial services and as well as financing support for businesses in Rwanda and Singapore, including uh, corporates, small, medium inter enterprises and micro SMEs while engaging in trade and services between both countries. First of all, there's just this beautiful relationship that is between Rwanda and Singapore, and I love it. Because people love to say that Rwanda is uh, the Singapore of um, Africa, and people love to compare these two beautiful countries. I must say that while I was looking at the pictures of Singapore and Rwanda, there's just this, there's just this, um, how can I call it? There's a beautiful similarity. similarity, thanks for the word. There's a beautiful s uh, similarity between the countries. You see the cleanness, mm, the, yeah. the, the greenness, the, you know, the, the water. I believe that the places that were saying they're gonna put water is gonna look like the way it looks in Singapore. But now the financial services deal mm -hmm. also shows that Rwanda and Singapore mm -hmm. are not only uh, alike in the beauty, in the scenery and all that, but it's also the beauty that there's also business partnership and also, um, you know, the, the whole collision of them working together and being in partnership together and dealing together is also another lift of uh, beauty between yeah. these two countries. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be beneficial uh, to the business partners, mm -hmm. uh, both people who are in the business industry in Rwanda and Singapore, we are all going to benefit through this and relationships are always great. You know, when you have a secure partner, you know that you're going to benefit, the two of you are going to benefit from, mm -hmm. you know, the partnership and the relationship. True. Yeah, we cannot wait to see uh, what businesses are going to be like after this partnership and I'm sure it's going to be like Singapore or Rwanda. It's just going to be a mixture of it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let us know the second story. Yeah. So the second story says a uh, Miss Randa launches project to empower a community health workers. And Miss Randa 2021, whose name is uh, Grace Ingabide, has embarked on a project to empower community health workers as a way to recognizing uh, their selfless efforts uh, to ensure a healthy community across uh, the country. So the project is a result of partnership existing between Africa Improve uh, Foods, which is AIF and Ingabide's management, Rwanda Inspiration Backup Organization, uh, both in that. So with the support, Ingabide and uh, her sponsors developed a project that would empower community uh, health workers across the country through income uh, generation and also through the project. The Beauty Queen uh, donated six pigs uh, to three cooperatives and community health workers in Guamagana district uh, with a solid distribution plan that will ensure all 1,900 community health workers grouped in 15 cooperatives in the area uh, benefit from this project. So drugs and foods for pigs shall also be distributed to the beneficiaries uh, to ensure a successful uh, project. And this comes uh, from Miss Grace Ingabide. And it's really great to recognize, uh, you know, the local workers, those who work so hard, but they cannot, you know, they just uh, receive little money to not, uh, you know, 
sustain, sustain them. them and even help them, you know, in their no more daily life. And it's really good that uh, they were remem uh, remembered with Grace Ingabide and the pigs. I'm sure that, you know, they're going to benefit from this. It's going to be beneficial to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be ben beneficial for both parties. And I believe this is a kind gesture to... Yeah. Uh, the community people mm -hmm. and also this gives the people that are in the community hope that they're not forgotten yeah. they're they're remembered um they're like in any circumstance that they might be in they they're supported and they're believed in as well even when they feel like what's surrounding them might not be believing in them so i i really thank miss ingavide uh, for this tape and of course all the people that help her yeah. to carry out this and giving her a voice and a platform. This is very beautiful. I think yes. Miss Rwanda is one platform that I must say enables girls, enables young ladies yeah. to get a voice, to have a voice of themselves and carry out the things that they surely didn't know they could actually do. But then it's like a dream come true for yeah. them. It's, it's, it's kudos to uh, the Miss Rwanda team. Exactly. And this, you know, it shows that uh, the beauty isn't only on the outside, you know, face that we see, but also in the brains by them, you know, having the heart to help the community because nobody, I mean, not everyone can do so. So mm -hmm. you just sitting, you know, in your comfort, you having your car and your money, you just, you know, you're Miss Randa, nobody can take the crown. But you remembering to go out there and even help the community is really something good. True. Yeah. It is. So um, with our last story for today, of course, we've been seeing this throughout yeah. the weekend and we have been uh, following up on everything. So yesterday was the funeral of late Jay Polly, uh, one of the biggest hip hop artists that we had in our country. Uh, we stand with the family and we stand with uh, the beautiful daughters he had mm -hmm. and- uh, And the fans, you mm -hmm. know. The fans. Yeah, and uh, he even loved a girl, was it a girlfriend? He, she was a lover, but she wasn't the wife yet, mm -hmm. but she was, some, uh, she was somebody that Jay Polly was seeing. Mm -hmm. She was really hot in the process. Mm -hmm. People didn't consider her, but I'm considering her for mm -hmm. that because it's really I got to easy. watch her, I got to watch her interview and she was saying how they actually had talked on Monday and the, I mean, the, the week before he died and he was okay and used to tell her the routine. He used to have sports, wake mm -hmm. up, do this. And then, I mean, she, they used to communicate and um, she was really sad because there's a lot she learned. Mm -hmm. And picking out from what she said that she learned from him was, she learned that, she learned the advice that he used to give give her and everything was just um, in place until all that happened. Yeah. But I must say that his family, his brother that is of course, um, one Uncle, of Uncle Maurice, mm -hmm. uh, we stand with him yeah. as the RBA family and everybody else that really uh, was a center piece in his heart. And even, Polly's you know, the, the people that he actually sang with, you remember the Tough Gang group? Mm -hmm. I saw this interview when P. Uh, Flower was really, uh, you know, crying because he was saddened mm -hmm. by the loss. So so we are just sending our condolences and, our, you know, uh, the best that we can to mm -hmm. the people that he was so close to, the community. And even Randa has really, really lost an icon because this guy really was, you know, going far. You saw that, you know, he was one of the people that impressed, uh, you know, uh, this man is cold. The the video. Video when he came to Rwanda. So he, we really lost the talent in the entertainment industry. And even some artists went on to share, you know, their tributes. Very many famous people really were hurt with his person. I must say that it has been a tragedy. Yeah, it was. It has been a very sad weekend. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we got to see this song and we want to pay tribute as Morning Cafe to the late Jay Polly. Let's have a look at this song that was made in tribute of him and his life. And we'll be right back. It's been a wrong day. Yeah, it really has been a long weekend from Thursday when we learned about this sad story. Uh, people started sharing, uh, you know, their message and it really has been a long weekend from Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday and even Sunday. It has been a very sad story um, to everybody that lost Jake Polly, to everybody that was really sad. Um, May he so rest in peace yeah. and to everybody that meant a lot to him, may, may they be strong. Yeah. We stand with the family, we stand with the fans and we stand with everybody that loved him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think 
that's all I can say. Yeah, and even, you know, uh, this uh, Saturday, uh, Iwacho Musica post was postponed and was replaced uh, with the Poly Tribute Show. And people, I mean, we got to watch this, uh, you know, uh, Iwacho Musica Festival where he performed, he was still alive. And then this uh, Saturday, the last Saturday was supposed to be Marina's uh, Saturday, but they, re, you know, they postponed it and replaced it with the Poly and the Iwacho Festival 2021 a show, which was uh, slated to take place this Saturday, uh, which was September 4th has been replaced was replaced sorry with a tribute showing honoring deceased rapper Joshua Tuishime uh, who was known by uh, Jay Pauly who lost his life when he was uh, 33 so uh, the show was actually uh, supposed to be Marina's and Calvin Banda uh, but was actually postponed because this over this tribute which was supposed uh, or was meant for Joshua or Jay Pauly so uh, according to Joseph Mushoma, uh, Mushoma, sorry, Mushoma the CEO of East African promoters, which organizes the annual festival, uh, the show will, uh, was uh, uh, the show uh, w was served as a fitting tribute to the singer, and this show was actually really great, and people got uh, to watch his talent once again. And if you watched it before uh, the show, I showed. I mean, I saw this. Uh, short video that was circulating of uh, Maurice. Uh, he had an interview with uh, Lucky before the actual show and he was, uh, you know, speaking much about uh, what people didn't know about Jay Polly and how, uh, you know, he went on to serve and how he was in his family and even to the, you know, to the platform of him being an artist as he was. Yep. Yeah. May his soul keep resting in peace. And just like we said, um, we stand with the family in prayers um, to strengthen them and give them healing with this tragedy. So just one lesson I learned from this, love people because you don't know their tomorrow, mm -hmm. care about people, make that call, be there for them because you never know. Yeah. That was it for the morning call, but we'll be right back with still a lot more. Do not go anywhere.